Let's discuss a more complicated experimental scenario, which is the use of multiple positions over time, but adding drift stabilization. So if you recall, drift stabilization is a feature on this microscope that allows you um, to compensate for any movements of the cover slip as the experiment progresses. So uh, to do this, we're going to select one of the multi-position protocols. I'm going to select, uh, for the purposes of this training, a multi-position Z-stack time-lapse protocol. So that's going to load up. And we are going to focus on the Z-scan settings, the multi-position settings, and the drift stabilization settings. So when we add new positions and we want them to be stabilized for drift, there is a very specific order and very specific steps that need to be undertaken. These steps will be in a sheet that will be in the imaging room at all times. They are also in this PDF on the desktop, uh, which is open here. So I am just going to follow these steps. And I recommend if you're looking at this video, uh, you can print this out and follow along as I do them. So. Uh, first, uh, just following the workflow on that sheet that I just showed you, the very first step is to determine whether our starting conditions are met. So our starting conditions need to be that the apply multi-field refocus is in the off position, that drift stabilization active is off, and that the drift stabilization mirror is inserted. Okay. Um, so let's look at the steps uh, for adding multiple positions with the drift stabilization. So first, we want to make sure, as always, that our piezo is at zero. Um, and we're going to turn on the apply multi-field refocus. So we're going to go to the first position, uh, which I've already done. I've looked by eye, and we're in a position where there's something. Um, and we're going to go to live and focus on this position. And the key thing here is we are not going to use the piezo to focus. So we're not going to drag this to focus. Instead, we're going to physically move the focus knob on the microscope. So I'm going to do that here. Uh, so there's no way for you to see what I'm doing, but just trust me that I'm moving the focus knob on the microscope. Um, then we need to make a decision as to whether we are going to use a scan mode of center size. So simply saying at each point, this, this point that I'm adding is the center, scan, whatever the size is, or a start end uh, design. I recommend for simplicity that you use center size. This is much easier to handle when you have um, multiple positions. So that's what I'm going to exemplify in this training video. Uh, I've selected here a scan size of 20, and I'm going to use a step size of two um, for the purposes of this um, video. I am then going to check uh, that the Z stack seems uh, to be the appropriate size by moving from the center, which is where I am now, you can see our current Z position is zero, just to the both ends to make sure I capture everything. And so you can see that when I do this in this particular sample for this particular objective, you know, uh, there are still things here uh, that might be of interest. So as a result, I'm going to say, well, actually, I want to increase my scan size to maybe 30 microns. So now if I go above and below, you can see that I'm capturing more. I'm not missing anything. So, so this is a good test to do, particularly on the first point. Uh, so now that we have uh, determined what the scan size should be, uh, here come the critical steps. So if we've selected center size, we need to make sure that before we add the point, we do the following. We go to the center. So we want to make sure the piezo is in the center. We click drift stabilization active, and then we add the point by clicking here. Immediately after we add the point, we will turn drift stabilization active to the off position. If we had been in the start end type of design, we would want to make sure that the piezo is situated in the start position. Then we apply destabilization active, and then we add the, the point to the multi-position setting. So now that we've added the first point and we've clicked drift stabilization off, we're in a, a position. Uh, we're in a situation where we can add another position. So let me do that now. Uh, I'm still on live. I'm just going to move laterally. I've actually tilted this slide a little bit to make it 
easier to see that we need to change the focus. So let's say I want to add this position. Um, so I've moved to it by using the joystick. I'm going to, again, focus on this position, which is clearly um, out of the focal plane, uh, by using the focus knob, not the piezo. So I'm going to move the focus knob until I get something in focus. Um, I am going to make sure that the piezo is in the middle if I'm about to add it. Now that said, before adding it, I can check again whether I'm happy um, with uh, where I've placed the middle. And so everything looks good. I make sure that the piezo is in that scan center position. I click on Drift Stabilization Active On. I add the point, and then I turn the Drift Stabilization Active to the off position. And now I can move. I'll, uh, I'll do this one more time. So we're going to go maybe north and then east. So I'm going to go here. And again, I'm going to focus by using the focus knob. on the microscope. So I like that focus. We can check the position, uh, the middle, whether we like it. Uh, if we do, we make sure we go back to the middle. So we send the piezo to the middle of the um, imaging stack. We turn drift stabilization on. We add the point and we click drift stabilization off. And we do this over and over for however many points we have. If we enable montage, that doesn't affect this at all. Um, if we do however many time points, that also doesn't affect it at all. So the key point is to have, if you're using the center size design, which is the one I recommend, to make sure the piezo is in the center position, click drift stabilization on, add the position, and then do drift stabilization off. Um, and this apply multi-field refocus is one of the first things you need to turn on. And this is all, again, in these instructions, which live on the desktop of this computer. And they will also physically be in this room. Now, uh, one last comment, which is if you want to change the scan size uh, after you've added these points or after you've added some of these points, you can do that and uh, it will work just fine. So for example, if we had realized that 20, was not going to work only after adding the third point, we could switch it then from 20 to 30, and all of those points will be acquired with a scan size of 30. Once you've added all of the positions to the list, the final step is to ensure that drift stabilization active is turned to on. Once the drift stabilization is active, and you can see that by this green light, if you hit acquire, the experiment will run in its entirety, and at each position, it will compensate for any drifts.